But yeah, just a terrible situation. We're glad that the storm is out. It's not even considered tropical anymore. So. <laughs> We're done with it it's at this done. point. Yes, and nothing really looming at this point. Uh, let me show you what is left of Milton uh, as it's a post-tropical cyclone, still packing some strong wind as it gets closer to Bermuda, uh, but it's not going to be anything like what it once was. But as it has moved by, it's kicked up our winds too and also uh, caused some coastal flooding around the low country uh, because of the fact that we've seen some of that rising water. But no significant problems at this point. Now tonight, we're looking ahead to our next big thing. Once that wind settles down, it is going to get chilly, 45 degrees, and the normal low is 53. So it's typically getting cool this time of year, but this is going to be a little more than we've uh, been used to. So breaking down your morning, temperatures will warm into the upper 50s by around 8 to 10 o'clock. So it will be a fast warm up. So keep that in mind when it comes to what to wear uh, during the day because the afternoon is going to bring those low 70s. Wind should not be all that gusty tomorrow, so uh, it should feel okay in the short sleeves by the afternoon, but certainly a light jacket, long sleeves in the morning. Not quite cold enough for the gloves or hat necessarily, uh, unless you're just super cold natured. And then no umbrella needed. In fact, you could stick that in the closet for a few days uh, because we are looking high and dry, which is what we need around here for cleanup efforts all across the area. 71 in Hendersonville tomorrow 68 in Asheville. It's a really pleasant afternoon. A nice Friday across western North Carolina, low 70s across the upstate, 73 in Anderson and 71 in Spartanburg. And we continue to track the tropics. There still is activity out there, but the good news is it's not threatening. The only other system we have is indeed a hurricane. It's Hurricane Leslie, but it's far out. It's a pretty good distance there from Bermuda. It's not even going to make it to Bermuda. It's going to hook northward and then eventually pull off toward the east. So there's nothing that's coming at the U.S. at this point. And over the next seven days, not expecting any new development. If you remember, we were watching that zone where Milton could develop many, many days before it even got started. Uh, so if there is anything, we'll give you that heads up, but we're not seeing any zones to watch at this point that are near the United States. So. We'll keep it clear, and that's, of course, great news for us locally and really uh, the whole state of Florida ready to take a break from tropical systems. Uh, mostly sunny skies through the weekend. We will transition to a warmer feel. We're going to be at 71 on Friday, 80 by Sunday, but another cold front comes in, and it is going to drop temperatures big time. Some of the latest data I've been looking at actually puts Wednesday into the 50s. For a high. I'm not quite going there yet just because we're going to watch the trends uh, because that is pretty cool for this time of year. But 61 is my forecast right now for middle of next week. I mean, that's as warm as it's going to get. And 42 to start the day. That wouldn't put your plants at risk, but in the mountains, we will likely have some frost by Tuesday night into Wednesday. So just an early heads up on that. Um, and I know that there are many areas in the mountains are requesting that cold weather gear, cold weather donations uh, because of the fact that we're going to be looking at these very chilly temperatures at night. Now be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert weather app. Scan that code on your cone code. Gosh, I can say it for some reason. <laughs> I'm thinking of forecast code. I'm so sorry. Code. Scan it and you can get our app for free. And it's a great way for us to better serve you with weather updates anytime uh, we have anything threatening from the tropics, local storms. We'll keep you posted. All right.